This video shows you how to use the Worcester FW100 programmer. By opening the flap on the control unit, you will see which controller you have, in this case the FW100. The program control knob has four settings. Auto working to follow set programs, constant or comfort which most people would regard as on, economy, a background temperature or the lowest temperature you would want your home to drop to, and frost, which could be useful if you're on holiday and there may be a risk of the temperature dropping. The central button is used to scroll through and confirm your settings. Simply turn anti-clockwise and press to select. As you can see the main screen displays the following information. Date and time, program timers, central heating flow temperature and internal and external temperature. The outside of the display shows a 24 hour clock and the status of the heating and hot water at the given time. The four buttons on the right hand side allow access to the menu, the info button will give you your system stats, the back button if you go into the wrong menu just press this and it will take you back one step, the delete button although not used very often can be used to remove a setting. These two buttons will bring forward the next program setting. Eight factory settings have been pre-installed, however it is possible to customise your settings to suit your needs. Simply press menu then scroll to the heating and press the button to OK. Click on program and scroll down to edit and press OK to enter the menu. Edit program A by clicking. Scroll down to see the days available, in this case Monday to Friday, by clicking OK. Select position 1, then click OK. Scroll to the time you would like your heating to begin, in this case 6.30, then press OK. Select your temperature mode, in this case we have selected the factory set comfort mode, which is at 21 degrees Celsius. Then scroll down to P2, which is when the heating temperature is due to reduce. In this case, 8.30, when it's set to the eco mode whilst you may be at work. Scroll down to P3, possibly when you're returning to the house and want your heating to switch on. In this case, we have selected 4pm in comfort mode. Press OK. Scroll down to peak 4 where we have selected 10pm in frost mode as we don't want the heating to come on overnight. Press the back button to return to the previous menu which will automatically save your settings. This process can also be repeated for weekends and individual days. Once you've set your program to suit, you're able to do a quick visual inspection to see that your settings have been accepted. Around the outside of the display you will see a 24 hour clock is shown, rather like a traditional mechanical timer. Each section is in a 15 minute block. A filled in block indicates the heating is set to come on, i.e. comfort setting. A block which is outline only indicates an economy setting and no block a frost setting. If you have a combination boiler, you do have hot water from the mains at any time of day or night. However, there is a preheat facility which you can use by setting the FW100. Press menu, scroll down to the domestic hot water and press OK. This allows you separate programs. Scroll down to domestic hot water program and press OK. Select edit, select Monday to Friday. Select P1, which is set at the factory setting, which in this instance we will reset to 6am. Press OK. Then select P2 and reset your off time. Select P3 to set the time when your preheat facility will come back on, and P4 when you would like it to turn off.
Programming domestic hot water times for a system boiler with a hot water storage cylinder is very similar to that of a combination boiler. Press menu, scroll down to the hot water. Scroll down to domestic hot water program. Select edit and select Monday to Friday. Select P1 and change the times to your preferred start time and press OK. The temperature of the hot water cylinder automatically flashes its factory setting which is set to 60 degrees. We recommend that this is not altered during an on period. Press OK. Select P2 and select the time when the hot water will be off. The factory setting is set to 15 degrees Celsius which shouldn't be changed in an off period. Select P3 for your next on time and P4 for your next off time. Press the back button to return to the previous menu which will automatically save your settings. This process can also be repeated for weekends and individual days. There are three main temperatures that the programmer works to and these are factory set but can also be changed by the user. Comfort, this is regarded as the daytime on period temperature, around 21 degrees as an example. Economy. This is normally regarded as an off period for your central heating or a background temperature of around 15 degrees Celsius. Frost. This is generally used when the property is unoccupied to avoid freezing, around 5 degrees Celsius. Press the menu button, select heating and scroll down to parameter. Then select heating levels. Click on comfort when you can choose your preferred temperature and repeat the process for economy and frost if required. If you find that your heating isn't hot enough, it may be that the outside temperature factory setting has not been altered. To check this you need to press and hold the menu button for 3 seconds. Scroll down to heating parameters, then scroll straight through to minimum outside temperature. Press OK, alter the value to minus 3, click again then press the menu button which takes you back to the home screen. If your heating is not coming on it may be because the outside temperature is above 20 degrees Celsius. If this is the case then the factory setting will prevent the boiler from turning on the heating. It is possible to change this temperature to 20 to 25 degrees Celsius or disable by setting the temperature to 99 degrees Celsius. Press and hold the menu button for 3 seconds. Scroll down to heating parameters, press OK. Scroll down to heating off at outside temperatures. Press OK, then using the control knob increase the value of the temperature to 99 degrees Celsius. Press the menu button to return to the home screen.